A few weeks ago, we talked about Joe Muto, who was a former employee at Fox News, and he decided to go to Gawker and basically release all of this uh, tape and all of these documents that he obtained through working at Fox News, and he became what is known as the Fox News Mall. Well, of course, Fox News didn't take kindly to this, so as a result, they slapped him with a search warrant. Uh, basically, he got a search warrant, and they took away his uh, laptop, they took away some of his notebooks, and basically he has been charged with grand larceny. And uh, he tweeted about this uh, through his Twitter account, of course, and uh, one of his tweets said the following. I loved it. He wrote, I should have done something more innocuous, like hacked a dead girl's phone and interfered with a police investigation. Get it. This guy keeps going, huh? I like that he's not allowing them to intimidate him. I mean, the Obama administration is intimidated by Fox News, but this guy yeah. isn't. He's like, whatever, go ahead, slap me with grand larceny, slap me with a search warrant. I guess part of the surprise is when, uh, when Fox News first came, then for both him and Gawker, and said that, you know, this, this is some illegal activity, we're going to come after you. And usually they're threats. Mm -hmm. They're coming after him, dude. And I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm not connected to a cell phone 24-7. But I saw one of his first tweets, you know, they took my iPhone laptop and some notebooks. How am I going to survive? They took my iPhone. <laughs> this is horrific. You know, it depends on what he stole. I mean, you know, is the information that he stole, I mean, did he steal it? Um, it was and two things, wasn't it? The picture of Bill O'Reilly. What, what he yes, was there was a picture of Bill O'Reilly when he was younger, and mm -hmm. he was with um, uh, uh, his friends, a few guy friends, and one topless woman, mm -hmm. which isn't that big of a deal, right? right. It, it actually made us like Bill O'Reilly a mm -hmm. little more. It shows that he's a little human. Um, mm -hmm. And then the other one was, of course, uh, Mitt Romney talking about his horses. Uh, possibly the, <laughs> the worst leaks in <laughs> no, the history of the United States. Exactly. Like, oh, I guess they were kind of amusing, but they weren't really incriminating. All right, so Joe Muto, he's not exactly a whistleblower here, but, mm -hmm. but this is a kind of uh, culture that we are creating where if you see something that, that you think is horribly wrong at your workplace and you report it, then you get hammered for it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's, there's this uh, kind of a culture of shutting people up, like, you know, whether it's Bradley Manning, whether it's Joe Muto. Um, if, you, um, if, you, you know, if you act bravely, or, or, or at least in your head you're act, thinking that you're acting bravely and you try to do something good, not much good comes of it. And of course, this is to uh, discredit or actually shoot down anyone else that has these thoughts of doing something like this. Yeah, I mean, look, uh, I mean, we all know this, but people with money, people with power, they have, they have more rights in our, in our mm -hmm. society. And, you know, we've had issues with uh, celebrities who get their phones hacked. Uh, you know, the FBI comes down to, you know, crack down. But if it happens to, you know, Joe Schmo, nothing happens, you know, nothing, nothing at all. So, you know, you got Fox News uh, bringing its full weight of, uh, you know, power and influence to crush this poor Joe Muto. And I hope this guy Joe can, you know, continue to have this upbeat, strong attitude. Um, who knows where this is going to lead, but I, I you know, I, I worry for him. Would you guys feel comfortable having him work for either the Young Turks or current TV. Totally, I don't care, because that's the thing. I mean, the, the Look, man, is, I got nothing to hide. Exactly. Uh, if one of you turns out to be a mole, I don't care. Right. Release that's it all. Thing. Release you, it all, the, I don't the, care. The, I'm nothing to hide. The Young Turks works. Yeah. Anything that, that's embarrassing or, or anything crazy said about it, it's been said. Just check out the post. By the way, you know? I, I am so positive that Rick Strom is a mole. <laughs> I don't trust that if guy. If anyone here would be a mole, wouldn't it be me? Because I'm the Armenian girl working for the Young Turks. Eh, it's, too yeah. Yeah. it's too obvious. Yeah. It's too obvious. Yeah. Uh, you never know. <laughs> and also, you can't. Maybe hold... being too obvious is the strategy. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way you can hold in long enough. You'd be, you'd be throwing fire everywhere. There's no way. <laughs>